Hi friends, Max here coming at you with a 10-ish minute Ninja Essentials bodyweight workout. Um, all you need is yourself and a little space to move around, so let's go ahead and get to it. Let's start off with a bodyweight stretch. So go ahead and do something that feels good in your body. This is a wake-up stretch. It's literally just like something you would do if you were mm, waking up in the morning, stretching in bed, maybe something lateral. Maybe you want to roll your shoulders a little bit, bring some movement into your upper body. I like to sit deep into my squat and kind of float side to side. I have tight hips and tight glutes, so that helps me out a lot. Coming up next in about six seconds, we have our Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, Spider-Person lunge in three, two. Bring yourself into a deep lunge position. Stack your front knee on top of your front angle, ankle. Twist up to the sky on a nice exhale. Make sure you're sinking your breath up with your movement. Exhale and extend the front leg. You get that good hamstring stretch here and then get that nice T-spine twist again. Halfway points coming up in a moment here. So finish up what you're doing and move on to the other side. Same exact thing. Knee on top of the ankle. Exhale, twist up, reach up. Make sure you keep that shoulder away from the ear. Nice long neck, hips square as you exhale and extend the front leg. Ooh, tight hamstrings. So this feels really good. We're just getting ready for what's to come and change. Friends, this Ninja Essentials workout, like I said, it's body weight. Um, we're just gonna go through kind of the building blocks, the basics of what we do in a Ninja Essentials class. Um, everything is 30 seconds of work with a five second transition. We go through the A set twice. Well, it's just the A set, there's no B set here. There is a quick finisher at the end. Um, let's get into a plank position. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two. Plank and hold. In your plank, press into your elbows. Tuck your shoulders, squeeze your butt, soften your knees. Exhale and pull your core in tight. Try to make yourself as horizontal as possible and try to make sure that you're not locking out your knees. Otherwise, you're gonna put a bunch of pressure into your lower back and we don't want that. We just wanna wake up your core and get you ready for what else is to come in this Ninja Essentials. You've got three, two, one, change. Bring yourself up onto your feet. Let's move into a squat. Feet hip width apart, toes forward and go. Sit your booty down. Exhale, press up. Now try to find the connection between that plank and the squat. Of course, the connection is a tight core and a nice long spine. You wanna essentially bring the same spine that you're using in that plank into the squat. Sit down nice and low, or as low as you can, without kind of changing what's happening in your spine. You've got three, two, one, change. Friends, let's move into a push-up. Bring yourself into a full plank, grip the ground, and go. There's a slight rock forward on the way down. Exhale, press up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale, press up. Keep your glutes tight. Keep your core tight. Keep your shoulders tucked and neck long. It's pretty important to grip the ground as well. You're really gonna feel your forearms fire up, and that's going to travel all the way up into your shoulders and make for a really nice and stable push-up. You have three, two, one, change. Let's move into lateral lunges, center of your space, go. Step out to the side and then up. As you step out, your hips hinge back. So you're not stepping out and externally rotating, right? You want to step out, toes forward, butt back, press up. Find that same neutral spine, that same tight core as you did in your plank, and in your push-up, and in your squat. A few more seconds here. You have three, two, one, change. Let's move into a dead bug, back to core. Lay down, and go. Hands up. You can let your head sit back, or you can lift up very slightly and let it hang back a little further. If you have a yoga block, you can rest your head on that as well. Hands reach up to the sky. Knees at right angles over your hips. If this feels solid, if you're able to pull your abs in tight and keep a neutral spine here, you can go for contralateral movement on the exhale. Three, two, one, change. Let's move into a jump hinge on your feet, feet under hips, toes forward, go. <laughs> 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 
super useful to sink your breath up with your work here. So hips go back, swing your arms with your hips, exhale on the way up, press your toes into the ground. Of course, if you want to modify, reach your hands up and swing down. This releve swing is really good. It's got that quick deceleration. Change, let's move into a mountain climber. Hands under chest, plank, go. Now a mountain climber, of course, is just a plank with a little extra movement on it. You wanna make sure that you're not starting to push your booty up to the sky, right? Keep yourself nice and horizontal. Grip the ground, and if you need to slow it down, and just bring that knee forward a little bit on the slower tempo side, that's A-OK -okay as well. You've got five, four, three, two, one, and change. Let's move into a burpee. On your feet, burpee, set, go. Hop up, squat, hop out. You can go into a push-up, or you can step one foot forward at a time, reach up, squat, step one foot back at a time, or go into a reverse burpee. Crawl your hands back, reach up, crawl it out, go into a push-up, or just back into the plank, and then up again. Totally up to you, all super viable options for your burpee. Three, two, change. 40 seconds of rest, and then we go through it all again. Whew. Take a moment, have some water, towel yourself off. I'm going to give you a few more options in this next round. Um, if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can join me on those options. But of course, if you'd like to, you can absolutely stick to what we worked on in the first round. Now you know what we did, now sell it, right? Just go for it this next round. Starting back in our plank in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Squeeze your tushy, set the plank up nice and solid, give yourself a nod yes, shake your head no to make sure that you're not holding tension in your neck if you'd like to. Go for a plank body saw. This is really gnarly, so you really not want to press into your elbows and pull yourself forward. Try not to just rock forward and back. Three, two, one, and change. On your feet, back to squats. Feet hips width apart, go. Now, of course, you can go back to your standard squat or go for a jump squat. Either option is available to you. Of course, you can do a few jump squats and say, you know what? I'm gonna take it down just for a second here and do a few more regular squats, but that's totally your choice. We have five, four, three, two, one, change. Push up, bring yourself down to your full plank. Let's go. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit in the second round, Go for a plyo push-up. I like to do these from my knees. Press my toes into the ground. Make sure you're still planking from knees all the way to the crown of your head and press the earth away from you as quickly as you can. Really squeeze through your pecs. Keep your core tight. Exhale on the way up. Three, two, change. Lateral lunges or skater jumps set. Go. These are skater jumps. You're keeping it horizontal, pretty low. Land, get that slight curtsy feel, dig that foot into the ground, press off. Breathe, stay in your hinge position, go knee to calf, knee to calf. 10 more seconds, you got it. Keep breathing, slow down when you need to, speed up when you want. Three, two, one. Change, whoo, dead bug. Back to core, set, and go. Reach up. This is an opportunity to slow down a little bit. You may hear my breathing is a little shuddery, and that's okay. This is an opportunity to slow down, to focus on reset, to focus 
I'm connecting your breath back to your movement. Three, two, change, jump hinge. Oh boy, who wrote this? I did. Let's go. Jump hinge. Try to avoid going past horizontal with your body, right? Keep yourself still in control, even though it's a super powerful movement. Don't let yourself get out of control. Keep going, friends. 10 more seconds of jump hinges. Almost there. You've got three, two, one. Change, mountain climber. Bring it back down. Two more rounds. Go. Now, once again, you can say, okay, mountain climber, an opportunity to work on some cardio or an opportunity to work on some core and slow it down a little bit. Choice is yours. Either way, you've got 10 more seconds and then we're gonna finish off with everyone's favorite, the burpee. In three, two, one, change. Okay, burpee, let's go for it. Set, go. After this, I do have a one minute challenge for you. It'll only take one minute. It's a descending ladder. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then after that, I would suggest you going and checking out Jake's mobility or Sam's foam rolling to make yourself feel good after you're done working out. Change. Okay, well, that was, that was spicy that did the damn thing. So in this one minute finisher, five squats, five push-ups. After that, four squats, four push-ups. After that, three squats, three push-ups. Two squats, two push-ups. One squat, one push-up. Do what you can with the time that you got. It's a pain in the, and in the chest. Just do your best. You've got four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to push-ups. Five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Four, three, two, one. Down to push-ups. Four, three, two, one. You're at 35 seconds. Three, two, one. Back to push-ups. I've got three, two, one. Back to squats. Two, one. Oh boy, almost there, 20 seconds. Two, one. Back up. One, down your push-ups. If you're finishing with me, you can go back up. One, two, we've got eight seconds. One, two, one, two, three. Change. <laughs> fabulous, fabulous work, my friends. Thank you for joining me for this quick little Ninja Essentials workout here. Like I said, you can join Jake for some mobility work, or you can join Sam for some uh, foam rolling work for a little recovery after all of that hard work you just did. I wanna say thank you again. I hope you have a great uh, day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I hope to see you in person real soon. Thanks.